Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a uh, something of a full edit done just in the develop persona. Starting from a not particularly promising picture I took in St. David's. This is out towards the sea in St. Non's chapel. St. Non was St. David's mother. And St. David is the patron, patron saint of Wales. So, what can we do with this? Well, first of all, let's click on the show clipped highlights up here and unsurprisingly the sun, which is out there in the pretty wishy-washy kind of sky, but interesting and a bit moody as well, is up there. So, what we'll do, we'll go down to the shadows and highlights down here and we'll turn down the shadows, so down the highlights like that, so we can see the sun maximally. So we've got the data there and we can turn up the shadows here. We'll probably turn them all the way so we can see as much as we can of the foreground. It's brought back quite a lot here. We'll tweak things later to get a bit more mood. And we'll do a white balance. Let's you just use the white balance tool. Click on the sun there and it's made it a little bit green. I just brought that into kind of a white thing, though it's very difficult in this kind of light to tell what exactly is white. Okay, let's have a look at what we can do up here. But the normal thing to do is just sort of kind of go through the controls, see whether they do anything useful. And I'll turn up just the brightness a bit, just a tiny amount. Yeah, the exposure up to us too. And we're looking at the histogram here. We're pushing that up a bit. And uh, push the brightness up as well. And maybe the black point kind of pulls the dark a little bit. Just a little bit, get a little bit more contrast into it. And um, with this, this, this is getting a bit dominant here. So maybe I'll turn that down. So turn the saturation down to stop that gorse bush, which, which is a nice beginning here, just getting too much. So there we go, it's pushed that back a little bit. So we're kind of getting somewhere now. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to have a look at whether there's any noise in the sky there, there could well be. This is taken with a compact camera and you can see there's a bit there. Let's go a little of a tweak off, go to the details, the noise enhancements and turn up the luminance a bit. And generally you have to wait a little while for it to calculate everything. That's already pushed it back a little bit. So maybe just a little bit more around the 20% mark and that will, that will have cleaned that up. And uh, what about down here in the shadows? That's pretty. Now there's too much in there. That'll be okay. Right, um, what else can we do with this is, well, we can do a little bit more contrast work. Because if we go to the tones here, I've got a little bit of curves. So I can pull this up a little bit here and then pull this down a little bit here. It very quickly has an effect. And that, again, is making this a little bit bit more atmospheric. Let's start doing some overlays on this. So the first one is I'm going to have a go at this building here because it's a kind of key focus point. So the way to do that is go down to here and say we'll just do a brush overlay. And when I paint on this it'll paint in red. And the hardness is set up there so I'm going to set this pretty high because I want to pretty much cover this and should I set edge away? Let's see what that does. That should catch the edges a little bit more so give me a little bit more tolerance around the edge of here. It is kind of going over the edge but it doesn't matter too much. And I can fill in the rest of this. Oops. Yeah, you know, it's just gonna cause I, just enough to make give this a little bit of edge, and I'll 
go up here. Thing is catching there, it's not overshooting too much. And up here. And this one here. And this kind of thing is, it's, I'll show you in a moment why I don't mind it overlapping a bit. And because I'm going to go to the overlay erase brush and bring this down here and I can just, just sort of trim in the edges with this. So. Well, it can be difficult to see what's underneath there. So you can, I guess it might be backwards and forwards a bit, but it's, that's OK. And then I'll just take this one out here. OK, that's enough. That's enough. I, I, I don't want to go on with this forever. All right, what it's done now is painted red so I can see where I'm painting this. The moment I touch a control, that red's going to disappear. So what would I like to do with this? Let's just turn up the brightness a bit to make this a bit more visible so this comes just stands out a little bit more and put a bit of contrast into it again okay, so it'll darken it out but it'll let the lighter areas stand out so little light bits around here so it'll be a little bit more attractive okay that'll do so what else can we do let's make the sun a little bit more of a thing so I'm going to go again to the overlays and I'm going to add a gradient overlay. And up here is the type. So I'll go do a radial one. And I just click in the middle of the sun and draw outwards for how I want it to be. So that's kind of that'll do. Something like that. And then we'll go back to the basics here. With these overlays, by the way, the lens, the detail stuff, and this, even the tones here, you can't change. You've only really got the basics panel that you can play with. So, it's going to brighten that. Don't brighten that too much. Just a little bit. Just add a little bit more, kind of, for this strong sun into the, into the sea. So that's, is that going to go a little bit more? Yeah, just a little bit more there. Don't lose the detail around it of the cloud, but just a little bit more strength in that. And then to match that, I'm going to do a, another one down here. So I'm going to overlays and do another gradient. And this time I'll make it elliptical. And I'm going to do this one down here. I can play around with this to the shape I want. Best to I want to cover the C there, so I'm going to brighten that up a little bit, bring this kind of down so it doesn't clip over the horizon of this so I don't want to go into the building there. But it's and it'll cover a bit of the cliff, which is okay because it's sort of like directly down from the sun here. And so I'll go back here and I'll just turn up the exposure on that. Where's, when's that gonna so it just lightens that out a bit? Maybe I'll do it with brightness. Just so it lightens it up without it making looking too much, but it brings the attention more down here. So the eye should come here uh, and up here or come down this way. So it's kind of going around these three things here and then drifting off into the distance. OK. So what else? Maybe a bit of darkness in here would help. Let's do, go and do another gradient, but this time I'll go to linear. And rather than come straight up, I'm going to come diagonally in here, so I'm going to draw it up so it kind of covers up to the coastline there. And just the corner there in particular. And then go here and take the exposure down on that. So it's just from there just holds that in a little bit more. Maybe I'll go back to the brush overlay with the church there. Maybe brighten that up a little bit. And 
maybe turn the exposure up a little bit more on that so it's because it brings it back a bit not so it looks unnatural it just looks like it's being lit a little bit there and uh, there we go I think that's about it you've got the this triangle here this adds a little bit of light and color at the bottom we can always retweak that more light on the sea bring out the building and make the sun a big brilliant thing up there I could put some color into that but it's kind of a cool day so I just don't want to do too much there or if I want to add a little bit of color let's I could go back to the white balance here and make this a little bit bluer maybe what's this going to do I'm going to get anything on that no it's wrong when I was on the building there wasn't I double click set it back to the beginning let's the the sun was that one no that was that one it was the that one that was the one wasn't it so white balance a little bit of blue what do you think or a little bit of yellow maybe yellow because well, you could have blue here to sort of rebalance the yellow in this or just make the whole theme a bit more yellow just a tiny bit in it, just tiny, tiny, tiny amount. And maybe let's try the building and see if we can. What happens if we make that a little bit more blue? Just a little bit. Going to balance the yellow. Maybe the gradient from the corner. What if there's a tiny bit of blue in that? Honestly, you can hardly see it. Just a bit. Blue in shadows often works. Okay. Right, I'll stop fiddling with it now. There you go. A Just a scene on the far west coast of Wales. Cool, with a little splash of the sky gorse coming in an ancient chapel and out to sea and into the sun and no i can just do a little bit more you can never stop can you i'm going to crop it so that the sun just comes down on here sort of diagonally into that corner i could bring this in but that'll hit that and i can't go in much more on that so that's enough there the final picture Hope you like it and thank you very much for watching.